Let's go over common given steps. Since the nature of a given step is more emphasized on getting to our destination, you tend to see a lot around navigational aspects when it comes to this type of step. As such, let's talk about two steps we have here, one for navigating to the site by the URL and another for navigating the website via the navigational menu system within the site. As you can see with our first step, we utilize this to directly go to the website page in question. By default, you will probably have this placed in your background as you will want to navigate to the site initially for all scripts. As like done in previous videos, we can add an optional wording to aid in distinguishing between website and page to give that further added sense of readability for others when they view the scripts. We could perhaps utilize this further parameter for further coding avenues depending on the nature of our website and complexity. Our further step, as you can see, is navigating through the menu system. And since this example website has two layered navigational menu like majority do, we have combined both choices into one step to aid in classifying this as one given action sequence. Within this given feature file, we have basically done the same navigation, but in two alternative avenues to get to the same outcome as part of this use case for getting to the form basics page. Given steps don't have to be isolated to just navigational aspects, but from my experience, this tends to be to be the case. 